Hi, I'm Stu Friedman, and I'm on the faculty of the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm director of the Wharton Work-Life Integration Project. I just published a book called Baby Bust, New Choices for Men and Women in Work and Family, which reports the results of our study comparing the class of 1992 with the class of 2012. I surveyed uh, hundreds of people in 1992 about all aspects of their lives, their careers, their hopes and their dreams, and I asked the same questions of the class of 2012, the millennials. So we have this longitudinal comparison of the Gen Xers with the millennials. And one of the questions we asked was, do you plan to have or adopt children? And the response options were yes, probably, uh, not sure, probably not, and no. In 1992, 78% said yes. In 2012, 42% said yes. In Baby Bust, I explore the reasons for why we see this drastic shift uh, among men and women, same numbers for men and women, and how indeed the reasons are different for men and for women, and most importantly, what does it mean for our social policy, our educational policy, our organizational practices, and what we can do as individuals and as families, in our families, to help create a new kind of uh, world in which those who want to have children, because many do want to have children, but feel they cannot, what can we do to help those who want to have children make it possible uh, for them to do so? The reasons that men don't uh, want, plan to have children to the same degree as in the past have to do with their wanting to be more engaged in their families. Uh, if they become fathers, uh, they are concerned about the debt that they're carrying. Uh, and they see conflict between work and the other parts of life because they expect that their spouses are going to be fully engaged in their careers. Uh, the reasons for women are different and have to do with their uh, involvement or wanting to have involvement uh, in having a positive social impact through their work, which seems to be crowding out room in their lives for becoming mothers. Uh, there are other reasons. I uh, look forward to hearing your reactions uh, when you take a look at uh, Baby Bust, uh, which again speaks to what we need to do uh, to make the world an easier one for the next generation to be reared in.